Good afternoon and welcome to Kinsman Field, North Vancouver for League One BC action between the hosts, Altitude FC, and the visiting Vancouver Whitecaps. I'm your match commentator, Michael McCall, and I'll have the call for you this afternoon in partnership with AFTN.ca. We'll get into the starting lineup shortly, but it's the Whitecaps that's going to kick this one off, wearing the white jerseys and blue shorts and the blue hoop, and they will be playing down the slope right to left in this first half altitude in the blue jerseys the dark blue shorts and the white numbers will be playing up the slope left to right and it's amir gassemi looking to get this one underway for the white caps as referee mo Maseni kicks this one off white caps lining up in a 3-4-3 formation in goal it's number 90 goalkeeper cohen park number 23 amir gassemi number 55 patrick isaac number 68 nick white Number 73, Jaden Manetta. Number 79, Benedict Florent. Number 81, Nikos Clark Tozak. Number 82, Brennan First. Number 87, Rohan Kapia. Number 93, Dalen Velius. And number 96, Luke Norman. As Altitude try and launch an early attack here, and the ball played back to Cohen Park. He'll clear this one up the field to Patrick Isaac. He's got an absolutely stunning equalising goal in the last minute for the Whitecaps in their 1-0 draw with TSS Rovers on Wednesday night. If you haven't seen that yet, check out the highlights for that on TSS Rovers game up on the League 1BC YouTube channel. Give you the altitude starting 11 just now. In goal, it's number 30, Evan Ince. Number 3, Riz Shavula. Number 5, Sako Kanati. Number 6, Matthew Marshall. Number 7, Sairub Sairub. Number 10, Stasi Aheo. Number 11, Raphael George. Number 16, Eagle Brook. Number 17, Oliver Herbert. Number 23, Lucas Booth. And number 24, Bernardo Illos. Man in the middle, as mentioned, is referee Mo Maseni. First assistant referee, Hannah Browning. Second assistant referee, Gareth Coombs. And the fourth official for this one, Iri Dimitris. Warm conditions out here in North Vancouver today. There's a little bit of a breeze that, makes, breeze that makes it a little bit easier for some of these players. As Florent filed there. The number 79, Benedict Florent, really impressed me for the Whitecaps midweek against TSS. 18-year-old out of Ottawa really was the man that made that midfield tick. Ball played forward, looking to try and play in Raphael George, but that is just going to run through to Cohen Park. Sorry, run through to Evan Ince. Big game for the Whitecaps here, sitting fourth at the moment in the battle for the postseason playoff spots. Four teams will advance to those semi finals. Whitecaps with a record of three wins, five draws, and just the one solitary defeat so far this season. As this ball comes out to Isaac, tries to chip that inside, looking there for Velius, but that will run through into the arms of Evidence. Evidence, a player that a lot of these Whitecaps players will know is with the Whitecaps Academy from 2016. Played for the Caps from U16 to U19 level. Altitude right now propping up 
the standings in the men's division in League One. Just one win so far this season, two draws and six defeats to show for their five points total. As I actually try to get something going here, but a big boot in there from the Whitecaps. Goal scoring has certainly proved to be a bit of a problem for Altitude through their first nine games. Just 11 goals to show for it. Certainly not the worst scoring record in the division, but certainly not one of the best. 24 goals conceded, though, is what has been their Achilles heel. It's the worst in the division by five goals and that is what has seen them rooted to the bottom of the League One standings. It's not that they've been playing badly, they have kind of lacked getting an out and out striker for much of this season. With Eagle Brook now up front for them, he certainly brings some quality. Spent time over in Germany before coming back to North Vancouver this summer to play his first season in League One with Altitude. The ball played forward to Isaac now. He's got Marshall in front of him. Isaac cuts inside and tries to send that in to Luke Norman. It's just going to run out, though, for an altitude goal kick. Just about, actually, and doesn't run out. It's well kept in by Norman, who flicks it off the boot there of Kanati and it's actually going to be out for a, a corner kick now for the Whitecaps. Corner comes in from the Whitecaps. It's an in-swinger very well met there. And a big save there from Evan Ince. Nikos Clark Tozak with the header. Seven minutes into this one. White caps. Had the better of the opening exchanges here. As a foul there by George, going to give away a free kick to the White Cats in a dangerous position. Amir Gassemi, the man to hit the deck there. Luca, make sure everyone's marked up. Hutch tight. Isaac now to send this one into the box. In swinger from Isaac off the head of Marshall who gets that away. Loose ball picked up though by the Whitecaps. First battling away there gives away a foul in the process and that will take some pressure now off the altitude defence. Whitecaps haven't been a high-scoring team themselves this season. Light altitude, 11 goals to show for their first nine games so far. Been blanked twice over the season. Have also kept clean sheets twice. Altitude also have been kept off the score sheet twice and only one clean sheet to their name so far. Previous meeting between these two teams this season was an entertaining 4-2 draw at Kenwood's Field back on May 12th. Whitecaps running away the winners on that thanks to hat-trick from Michael Hennessy who's on the bench this afternoon for the Whitecaps. Koji Poon also getting on the score sheet that day. Atos de Sequeira and David Rodriguez on the score sheet for Altitude that afternoon. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, she trying to bring the ball out there, but forced back by the press from the Caps. Semi battling away, winning a throw in for his side. Deep in the altitude half here. Mineta over to take the throw in. It's going to be a long one. It's going to have to be a hell of a long one if he gets into the box here. Not a lot of movement from the Caps. It's flicked on well though, but into the arms of the waiting evidence. Six foot two keeper from North Vancouver. Casting a commanding figure in the goal. Certainly looks bigger front than six two from sitting here. Well won there by Ellos, but won back by the Whitecaps. Norman now plays that inside to Florent, who fires a low one. Does not miss by much by that left post. Ince with a long goal kick into the Caps half. It's well won back though by the Caps. Flicked on nicely there by Gassemi into the path of Norman. Battles away in the corner there with Shavula. Shavula has to play out. Didn't have a lot more options there. And it's going to be a throw in to the White Caps. Very deep in should half here. It looks like it's going to be another long one coming in here from Mineta. Natty, the big man at the back, gets his head to that, clears the danger for altitude. Brooke now playing really deep and getting forced back even deeper here under pressure from two caps. Couldn't do much with that apart from put that out and it's going to be another throw in now here for the white caps. They'll move it along the back as Florent plays it back to Clark Tozik. He'll send a long one forward here into the path of... Mineta, but couldn't keep that one in. That's going to be out now for a goal kick for Altitude. with the long kick forward. Must have been a, an offside decision there to give Altshu that free kick, but right back at it are the Whitecaps. They're winning the ball back very quickly here and really having Altshu under a lot of pressure early. Another pick up in the midfield here by the Caps. Mineta now sends that one in. Cleared though by Altitude. And a stumble there from Clark Tozak, almost letting Brook break free, but just a fouled in the process, and the cap's on quickly with this one. Florent now to Clark Tozak. He'll play this all the way back. And a great ball delivered up front there to Mineta. Plays that inside to Isaac. He's twisting, he's turning. He's got three altitude players away and it's Booth that's going to come away with it for the North Shore side. Booth plays that one forward, but no altitude players up there. Get in, get in, up on, keep on. Get up, get up. Yeah. 
as Rowan Capilla will bring this one out for the Whitecaps. Good one up to Velius. He flicks that on for first. And Gassimi peeling for a corner there, but runs the ball out, and it's going to be another goal kick coming up here for Altitude. Ball up, easily dealt with there by the Caps captain, Nick White. And the Caps will build slowly now out from the other side. Clark Tozak. Back to Clark Tozak from Mineta. Pia bringing this one forward for the Caps. I just allowed to go forward there. And a loose one there from Florent as well. Picked up quickly there by Herbert. Wins a free kick for his side. And the first booking of the afternoon comes out early here in the 76th minute. 76th? I don't know why I said that. The 17th minute. That would have been a fast-paced game if we got to the 76th minute already. Referee Messini bringing that card out early. As Syrub Syrub stands over this one for altitude. Two-man wall for the Whitecaps here as Sairoub stands over this free kick. The big man, Saku Kanati, in the box, if they can find him. Played into the box, cleared well there by Nick White. Resplendent in his bright orange boots as Velios brings this up. Gets brought down for his trouble. Fair challenge, though, and altitude now will get a chance to bring this out. Elos now plays it along the back line to Canati. Picked off though by Florent. Florent pokes it forward to Gassemi. Norin battling away with it there and Whitecap still keeping possession. As Mineta plays that one inside. But now it's a chance here for Herbert to get something going for Altitude. And uh Cheap foul given away there by Syrub on Clark Tozak. Isaac standing over the free kick again for the Whitecaps. Says the high one into the edge of the box. Brook there with the header and it's just bouncing about in the box and a foul in the back there of Illos. Earns out to shoot a free kick and takes any danger off their back line for now. Quick, quick, quick! 
Ince with the long kick forward, trying to find Herbert. Just finds the head of Nick White instead. Very physical in the early going here. It's Elo sent tumbling to the deck there. And it's going to be another free kick here coming up for Altitude. Sairub sends a high one into the Caps box, onto the head of Kanati. He can't direct that down though and just heads that one high and over. Tozak now sends one up the left wing here for Gassemi to chase down. Gets to Norman instead. It's Norman under pressure and attention here from Marshall. Great play there from Matthew Marshall to force that one out from Norman. As Altitude play that one up the line. Heavy touch off Laurent there and it's going to be out for another Altitude throw in just inside their half here. George with the ball in his hands at this throw-in. Flicked on by Sarub into the path of Booth. Out now to Illos as Altitude will switch it now to the left-hand side with Shavula. Ahil gives a little give-and-go there with Shavula. Shavula gets it back, sends one into the box. But a big foot there from Nick White as Ahil goes down in the box under the pressure there from Kapia. Altitude bent calling for a penalty. Referee Maseni not interested. Sairou battles away now in the middle. Booth picks that one up. Plays it forward to Sairou. He's got George to his outside. Finds George. Back to Sairou. And George sends a dangerous ball into the box there, almost onto the head of Herbert, but Clark Tozak with his head there to clear it. Altitude still battling away with the ball though. Lucas Booth wearing the captain's armband this afternoon, fires a shot and hits the back of his own player, Brooke though, and that will allow the Whitecaps to play that one back to Cohen Park. Another free kick here coming up for Altitude. And the home side get on with it. Shavula now. Plays it back to Sairub. He'll play it and turn back to Kanati. Big man. Getting forward, picked off where? Well, there by Kapia, who plays it inside to Isaac. He's got room ahead of him. Plays it out there to Norman, but it's taken off his foot there by Booth. Crossfield ball to Brook. Does well to bring that down. Still, Brook plays it back out to Sairub now. Yellows plays it back to Sairub, who will play it up the wing to George. George trying to play the give and go there with Yellows, but was sent tumbling to the deck, looking for a free kick. Again, referee not interested. Tozak now up to Isaac who plays it back to first. Oh, 
Clark Tulzak again. Brings it into the altitude half, looking for some movement. Just a heavy touch forward there by Florent. By the side, really carving out any clear-cut goal-scoring opportunities so far. Ince now sends this one forward, looking to try and get it into the head of Syrub. But Clark Tozak there again, as he has been so much through the first 25 minutes of this one. Just going to switch the match balls over. That's George with the throw in. Up the right wing, looking for Brook, who's in a battle with Clark Tozak. Surely a foul there, and yes, the referee does blow it as Clark Tozak gives a little elbow into the back there of Brook. Very unnecessary there from the Caps defender. Semi tries to get the better of Marshall there, but Marshall recovers well to win that back for altitude. He'll switch it now over to the left side. Shavula up to a hail. A hail just carries that one over. You feel if the altitude can get Shavula and a hail working on the left, like we saw last week at times against TSS, that could be a way for them to try and get some success here because. Whitecaps not really been threatened by too much so far from the home side. That said, the home side haven't been threatened too much so far from the Whitecaps either. KG game so far. Have to feel the warm conditions out there will also be playing a part in that. It's a cross-field ball there. Looking to try and play in Jaden Mineta, but just has too much on that. And it's going to run out for the Whitecaps Academy, Academy alumni. Played two seasons in NCAA with the Seattle Red Hawks. Spent pre-season with the, the Whitecaps first team under Mark DeSantis back in 2021. Second season back with the Caps in League One. Have to wonder if they are keeping an eye on him for when he comes out of college with WFC2. As Norman gets the ball now. Plays it back to Kapia, who in turn plays it back to White. A long hit and hope forward there by the Whitecaps, easily dealt with by Inch, who will roll it out to Booth to try and bring this now out for altitude. Booth up the wing to George. Clark Tozak does a good job, though, in marshalling that one out. It's going to be a throw into the visitors midway in their own half. Kapia can't keep that one in. It's going to be a throw in now to altitude on the far side. 10 yards in the Whitecaps half. Shavula looking for some movement. Plays it into Herbert as Altitude head coach Fali Bass telling his side they need to be quicker and get on with this. A cheap free kick given away there by Altitude will stop any danger that they might have hoped to mount there and it's going to be a free kick to the Caps just inside their own half. White now on the ball for the Caps, looking to see if there's any movement up front. We'll play it across the pitch instead to Florent. Florent still bringing it forward. Inside to Isaac now. Well closed down by Booth. And Sarub tracking back well to get the loose ball. Fouled in the process and it's going to be another free kick coming up here for Altitude. Very 
chippy stop and start game so far in the first half hour here. Neither team able to get any real free flowing football played. It's Kanati, long one into the Caps half. Clark Tozak there with it. And it'll be first now. The Caps captain. He just has to play it back to Park with not much options open. There's definitely no space in any channels really for either of the two teams just now. Gesemi flicks that one over his head. Easily dealt with though by Kanati and another cheap free kick given away here. It's all very stop start so far. It's the Whitecaps get on with it quickly. Out to Velios now on the right. Velius goes down. It's going to be talking to, to Herbert. But that is all and it's going to be another free kick coming up for the Whitecaps here. Halfway in the altitude half. As we move into the last 15 minutes here. Jade Mineta, the man coming over to take the free kick here for the Whitecaps. Mineta sends in the in-swing at dangerous ball, cleared by Syrub just to the edge of the box. Whitecaps keep it alive. Clark Tozak with the header there, easily into the arms of Ince, who gets this one out quickly to Brook. He needs some help up in support. He's got it coming from George in the overlap. Cuts inside himself, though, the big striker. Still Eagle Brook plays it out now to Aheo on the left. Aheo dances past one, gets past the second, keeps the ball, and... Somehow that decision goes against the hail. Didn't see anything in that at all, and the crowd not happy with that either, and rightly so. Did not see anything in that. Elos now plays it inside or outside to George. One back by the Whitecaps, so Florent brings it forward. Nicely played forward here for Gassemi. He's got a couple of options in the box. Still Gassemi sends a dangerous one into the box. It's over the head of the first man to the back post to eyes it. Off the post and off Evan Ince and out for a corner for the Whitecaps. Great ball in there from Gassemi. Jane Mineta over to take the corner here for the Whitecaps. Good movement in the box from the Caps as it gets to the near post and the header flicked on there by Rohin Kapia. Altitude. Playing with fire at not getting that out quickly from the back, but they do get away with it. First though, wins back that battle in the midfield. Eyes it. Nearly pokes that past Marshall, but again, great play there from Matthew Marshall. Nice ball forward by Sarub now, and here's a chance here for Altitude. Herbert now, out wide. He's got one man ahead of him, cuts inside, still Herbert with it. Sends it into the back post, looking for a hail. Can't connect with that. And the Caps will just usher that one out and it's going to be a goal kick coming up for the Whitecaps here. Mineta now, up the wing to Gassemi. Takes a touch inside. That's going to be out for a Whitecaps throw. Hey, 
Jude Mineta with a throw in. Plays it forward only to the head of Booth though. Loose ball picked back up by Isaac. George now. Tries to get past Mineta, brought down in the process. Lost, I wish I'd been keeping track really of the free kicks because I've completely lost count of how many there's been. It feels like we're over the 20 mark. Might not quite be at that, but it certainly has felt that way. Long ball forward into the Caps half now. Brook can't bring it down and Florent will play it out wide to Mineta. Gesemi looking to have that play to his feet and the high ball is going to be out for a throw in. To altitude, midway in their own half. George with it, sends it up the line for Brook. Flicks that one inside. Sai Rub now plays it back to Kanati. Back out to Sai Rub. Marshall now will just play it back to Ince. And out should all try and recycle it out the back. Getting a little bit penned in at times when they're playing it along the back line. It's the ball from Ince. Loose one picked up by Booth. Out should have a little bit of trouble here getting the ball advanced. Haven't had too much of an attacking threat in the final third in the first 36 minutes of this one. It's first plays that inside to Florent. Booth though wins it back in the battle in the middle. Good play there by the altitude captain. Brook now plays that inside to Herbert. He's battling away, plays it back out to Brook. Out to Cy Rube. Tries to dance his way through, but Whitecaps foot knocks that one away. They've got a chance to break now up the left. It's Gassemi. He's got eyes ahead of him. Gassemi cuts inside though before he gets hacked down there by Sairub. And that's a yellow card out. The first booking of the match for an altitude player. Coming in the 37th minute there. And Gassemi down in a little bit of pain as the physio getting called on by the referee. players taking this opportunity to get some water on as mentioned it's very hot out on the pitch it's up about 25 to date Things calmed down there after the officials not happy with the water bottles getting thrown onto the pitch. And Isaac now will get this back underway. Standing over another free kick for the Whitecaps here. Two-man altitude wall. Isaac sends the in-swinger into the box. No one's able to clear it there and a high Overhead kick there, catching a hail. I think that was Kapia there that was trying that acrobatic effort. You heard the coming together there, the cleats on a hail. He's down in a little bit of pain. A heel up, no worse for wear, and it's going to be a free kick for Altitude. As we've got just over six minutes remaining. We'd not see there being too much time getting added on here at all. It's been a little bit of a slow-paced half. Not helped by the amount of free kicks, just breaking up the play constantly. So Int sends a long one into the Caps half. White with a header. Picked up well, though, by Marshall. Sairub now. Knocks that one forward, looking to try and play in a hail. Just finds the head of Kapia. 
And a loose one there from the Whitecaps is going to give Altitude a throw in now. Midway into the Whitecaps half. Referee Mo Massini over. Talking to the Whitecaps bench. Weren't happy at how stuff was getting thrown into the field there. Finally, the action gets back underway as George sends that free kick to Brooke, who's battling away there. Back to Syrub. Inside to Herbert. Nice play there by Herbert. Gets it to Brooke who sends one into the box. Herbert knocks it on. Doesn't fall for Syrub. And Syrub goes down on the edge of the box there under a heavy challenge there from Rowan Kapia. That's going to give Altitude a free kick right on the edge of the box in a very dangerous position. And they've certainly got players that can take advantage of this. Syrub up now after that challenge and it's going to be Eagle Brook who stands over this free kick about 20 yards from goal. Five man Whitecaps wall. As the home fans try and rally their team. Brook with the effort. What a goal by Eagle Brook. An absolute stunning free kick from the big striker. Nothing Cohen Park could do about that one. What a strike that was to give Altitude the lead in the 42nd minute. The smoke is out, the fans are on their feet and Altitude have the lead here in North Vancouver. What have the Whitecaps got in response here? Absolutely cracking free kick there from Eagle Brook. Cannot wait to see that one back. It's important now for Altitude to try and just steady the ship and not just get too carried away here. But there's a chance for a hail now to break. And Brooke just gets that one taken off his foot. And another cheap free kick given away. It's going to give the Whitecaps a chance to get a set piece opportunity off their own. 90 seconds of the first half remaining. As Isaac stands over another free kick opportunity here for the visitors. Eyes it now. So it's another good delivery in the box, but right onto the head of Brook. He met that well, head that clear. Oh, it should out quickly. And some good pressure there from Herbert, forcing that ball back from Dylan Villios. Ball spread out, kept in by Mineta. 
Marshall though flicks it forward for altitude. Sairud lets it bounce, but it's Florent that comes away with it. Brooke battles away. No one able to really bring it down the midfield, and George plays it up, and Clark Tozak will now get brought out here by Rohin Kapia. Back to White. Florent now. Mineta takes a touch inside, and that's well cut out there by Herbert, and it falls into the path of Brook. He's got Herbert still forward with him. Brook now has a look for goal. Curls one that does not miss by too much there. Great effort there from Egal Brook, who's going to have so much confidence now after that opening goal. That was Egal Brook's second goal of the season for Altitude. Kapia now plays that one up to first. It's flicked on. Out should get it back. Elos battling away as Booth plays that forward. Gets a shove in the back from Isaac for his troubles. Gesemi now. Well played there by Sairub to break that one up. He's got George to his outside, but Sairub still battling away. And Gesemi wins the ball back now for the Caps. As Marshall nips in quickly to take that one off the foot of Isaac. It's been a fantastic first half by Mar Matthew Marshall here. Brooks now on the edge of the box, dancing, showing his fancy footwork. Has a couple of players to get by, and it's poked away by the Caps. As Norman now can't really control that one. The loose ball picked back up by Eagle Brook. Little back heel into the path there of Syrup. And Herbert will play this one out to Rafa George. Brook now, is he lining up another shot for goal? Gets into the box, sends one into the near post, but not much power on that, and that's easily going to run into the arms of Cohen Park. Into stoppage time now. I think there's just a minute of stoppage time getting added on here. Minetta now. In fact, that is the last action here of the first half. And what a first half it's been for Altitude. They're heading in with a one-goal lead. A fantastic free-kick goal from 20 yards out by Eagle Brook. That's the difference between these two teams just now. Have to feel there's going to be a lot more football played and a lot more attacking stuff to come in the second half. Go stick the kettle on. Join us in 15 minutes and we'll be back for that very soon. And we're underway here at Kinsman Field in North Vancouver. Altitude yeah. FC holding that narrow 1-0 lead after a half that was devoid of too much goal mouth action. Yeah. And right away, Altitude trying to get on the attack and the, the chippiness and the cheap fouls and the breakup of play that we saw a lot in the first 45 minutes continuing here. Try and see what substitutions there have been at the half as we get through this one. Whitecaps straight back at it. One of the subs for the Whitecaps. Involved there, number 89, Michael Hennessy. Leading scorer for the team with four goals. Got a hat-trick in the first meeting between these two sides last month. Two assists in the season as well for Michael Hennessy. He holds a joint lead of that with Koji Poon.
think it's the number 96, Luke Norman, that has made way for Hennessy in this half. Long ball forward into the Caps half there by Ince. Alex Judo forced back and the ball comes back to Ince who's closed down very quickly by Gassemi. Villiers now plays that inside to Florent, who switch it out to Clark Tozak on the left-hand side. Whitecaps certainly have a number of options that they can turn to. They've brought Hennessy on. They've also brought on Sydney Wathuta, wearing the number 85 shirt. Been with the Whitecaps since 2021. Certainly knows his way to the back of the goal. One goal so far this season, but has put in a number of solid performances for this young cap side. Patrick Isaac looks to be the man that's made way as well at halftime. See if we can notice any other subs as we go through this. In fact, Luke Norman is actually still on the number 96. Patrick Isaac has made way. As White in a challenge there with Herbert takes a touch off the altitude man. It's going to be out for a goal kick here to the Caps. Long ball forward there by, <coughs> excuse me, for Velius. Finding Wathuta, comes back to the captain first. Back out to Wathuta. First forced a little bit backwards here. Some really dark clouds now coming over Kinsman Field. I hadn't bothered checking the forecast to see if there was any rain scheduled, but certainly looks like a downpour could be imminent. Norman now plays this one out wide. Comes back to Florent. Joe Demi in the number 88 has also come on at the half for the Whitecaps. So a triple substitution for Rich Fagan's side. And it's a penalty for the Whitecaps, as I think it is Damien that is brought down in the box there. 51st minute here, and Damien goes down in the box. Referee Masseni, no doubts about that, pointing to the spot. And the Whitecaps have a chance to level things up six minutes into the second half here. Might actually have been Gassemi that was brought down there for the penalty. Either way, it's Hennessy stepping up to take this one for the Whitecaps. Hennessy against Ince. Hennessy hits it, sends Ince the wrong way, and the Whitecaps are back on level terms here in the 52nd minute. Michael Hennessy from the spot, his fifth goal of the season. And it's back on level terms and back to game on and Altitude again have work to do now to try and get just their second home win of the season. Jazzy, 
Whitecaps still on the front foot here as they look to try and add a second right away. Damien twisting and turning and it's Norman then that will come away with it now for Vancouver Whitecaps. Play inside to Gassemi, tries to play that back to Norman, takes a touch off the altitude player and it's going to be out for an altitude throw in here. Referee Massini not happy with something there from Gassemi. Just having a little chat with him. The loose ball picked up by Sairub now. He was looking to see if he could find any options. Didn't have to go himself. And the Whitecaps now win this one back. And also win themselves a free kick in the process. Connor Hildebrand coming on now for Altitude, taking the place of Sai Rub Sai Rub in the 54th minute. It's flicked on there by Gassemi. Cleared by Altitude though, only as far as Wathuta. And he's forced back under the attention of a heel. Park sends that one into the altitude half. Ball just bouncing about in the air. No one able to bring it down. Gassemi now does. And Eloz gets that one taken off his foot by Wathuta, who plays it outside to Hennessy. Sends one into the back post. Dangerous ball there, but no takers for the Whitecaps. The Altitude fans and good voice though, trying to spur on their team. as that long ball forward there for Hildebrand to try and chase down, but that's going to run through into the arms of Cohen Park. And it'll be the Whitecaps now that will bring this one out. Good hustle there from Herbert, forcing the Caps back and they'll now recycle it out of the back and bring it out up the left wing. Velios now tries to play that up the wing. Bit too much to ask there off with Thuta. As David Rodriguez now coming on for Bernardo Elos in the 56th minute. Fali Bas making a few changes now to try and see if he can get some spark back into his team. Still a lot of this one to get played. As out should win themselves a free kick just about 10 yards inside their own half. Challenge on Herbert there. Kanati sends that long one forward. That's going to be asking a lot as well for Aheo to try and chase down. He's got the pace, but not that much. Clark Tozik now bringing this out for the Whitecaps. Long ball forward, trying to play that into Hennessy. Well cut out there by Kanati. Now Alch has got a chance to break. 
It's pulled forward to Herbert, who's brought down unceremoniously there by Nick White. For some reason, though, Masini's pulled about for the first foul. Flick, nice little back flick there as Shavula plays that into Herbert and it's a loose ball and Brook was tearing in there as everyone left it to run through to Park but Brook wasn't going to give up on that and nearly got onto the end of that one. That's more like it from altitude. It's Felios now, he sees Rodriguez cut that one out, a hail. He's got Rodriguez to his left if he wants him, plays it inside though to Herbert, nice turn from Herbert. Fires one off white. The loose ball falls to a hail. Sends one in to the back of the box. Can't be connected with from Brook. George picks it up now. Still in the danger zone. And Wathuta gets his foot on that and sends that up. As Gassemi now keeps on that. And a good challenge there by Marshall. Had to time that one right. And that is a great challenge again there from Matthew Marshall. Fantastic game from him this afternoon. Few really good performances from Altitude this afternoon. I've really liked what I've seen from Ollie Herbert, the number 17, in his first start of the year. First time I've seen him play this year. Not sure if he's been in any of the away games. As the hail hits the byline, can't Unlucky, keep that in though. Unlucky, yeah? Herbert is a player that came through the Whitecaps Academy. <laughs> Joined the Caps U17s in August 2019. As a change for the Whitecaps, making way is the number six, number 96, rather, Luke Norman. Coming on, the big, big frame of number 95, who I don't have on my subs list. So, check what that one is. It's, it's Joshua... De Cala is down as the number 95 on my roster. In fact, it's Lyle Wright, the number 95, that has come on. Just getting back to full fitness after an injury has kept him out of play with WFC2. Former York United player, the 19-year-old from Brampton, Ontario. He's made two appearances for Whitecaps 2 so far this season. 39 for York United in three seasons with the CPL side. Scoring seven goals in the process. Still to find the target for the Whitecaps. Will that change this afternoon? Also been a player that's been capped for Canada at U20 level. Six appearances and two goals there for Lyle Wright. He's certainly going to prove a bit of a handful. Looking forward to seeing this right Kanati matchup. This first sends a diagonal ball into the corner there for Demian to try and bring down. Altitude bench for, calling for a foul there, not getting it. It's Florent just bursts his way through, and this time the Whitecaps will get the foul as Florent brought down there. Thank you. 
five man wall for the home side here as Gassemi stands over this one. We've already seen one cracking free kick from a very similar position, a little bit more central from Edelbrook in the first half to give altitude the lead. What can Gassemi do here for the Caps? Chips one in very delicately and that's easily dealt with by Evidence and the altitude goal. Now it should bring it up the field quickly. Booth now gets a better Florent, plays it out to George. Cuts inside, still George. Rodriguez getting past Hennessy there in the altitude, trying to play that into Hildebrand. Rodriguez though keeping on it. As Damien wins himself a free kick and takes some. Pressure off the defence as Eagle Brook not happy with that decision and getting a yellow card as well for descent. That coming in the 64th minute. Clark Tozak takes this across the field now to Nick White. As first are unceremoniously sent to the deck there by Ollie Herbert. And first will take this, sends it forward to Hennessy. He sends it up the wing to Velios who plays it back to Hennessy. Back out now to Velios. Hennessy plays it inside, looking for right. Little touch outside to Velius. Velius sends one into the back post. Dangerous one, well met there by Gassemi. Altitude still under a bit of pressure, but eased a little bit now as a hail goes down. There under the challenge of Velios for a free kick. Long ball forward there from Altitude, asking for Hildebrand to try and chase that one down. And it's played back too short on that, and Brooke cuts it out. Now he plays it back to Hildebrand. But good recovery play there by Demian to break that up, and Demian sent crashing to the deck, and it's going to be another free kick to the Whitecaps here. Park sends it out to the left. It's flicked on, looking to get brought down by Damien, but instead cut out by Altitude. Herbert now, he's got room in front of goal, looking for some movement to get a pass off. He's going to go himself, fires a low grass cutter in. Thought it had taken a deflection to carry out, and it has taken a deflection to carry out. It's going to be a corner here for Altitude. Midway through the second half, in the 67th minute here, More great play there from Ollie Herbert. I wish you'd with the corner, met by White at the near post. He hits it high into the air. It's bouncing around. Little push, though, by Rodriguez in the back of Hennessy there. And the Caps will get another free kick. A long ball forward now there for Gassemi to bring down and 
fouls Sako Kanati in the process. Temperatures certainly dipped in the, the now gloomy skies that are over Kinsman Field. Hopefully any rain that might be coming to the North Shore is going to stay off until the end of this one. Sends this free kick deep into the Caps half. It's flicked on well by Brook. White though plays it back forward. Rodriguez doing very well in that battle there with Rathuta. Still Rodriguez. Both men go to deck. And Rodriguez still comes away with it. Rathuta there forcing the turnover. And it just takes an unfortunate deflection off Rodriguez. Out for a throw in now that Velios will be over to take. Right. Lyle Wright, one of those big men up front that I, I've talked about a lot in, in the AFTN podcast. I much love to see that. Our wavelength song last week was actually called Big Man Up Front. And that's certainly what the White Caps have just now. As first now brings this forward for the Caps. Plays a long one forward, but ints out quickly to deal with that. As George now will try and play that up the right wing, looking for Hildebrand, but that one just goes out. Stasio Hale just doing some repairs for his shin guard that had come out. And after the fast-paced start to this second half, the action has dipped a little bit out there. George now, can he spark something here for altitude? Herbert plays it back, looking for George or Brooke. It's Brooke that takes it. Cuts it inside to George. He can get it out of his foot, though. That allows Velius to clear the danger out of the Caps box. And now the White Caps will advance this one forward. Gesemi. Forward to right, who plays it out to the wing. To Florent. Across the field now to Velius. And he'll play it out to the right here. With Thuta. Dangerous ball to the back post. And... Met by George, and I wasn't sure where that one was going when it left his foot. Looked like it might have been going towards goal from my angle. I'm sure he knew what he was doing from his angle. But it's going to be a corner kick to the Whitecaps here in the 71st minute. Into the last 20 of this one now. Saw a one all draw in the women's match between these two teams and some late drama as well in that one. Is it going to finish 1-1? Are we going to get some more late drama here in the men's match? <laughs> Corner played in the near post. It bounces off George and Aheo, but a big foot gets that one away, thankfully, in the end for Altitude. Clark Tozak now, long ball up the left side here, but it's cut out well by Altitude. George now comes away with it for the home side, and he's brought down for his troubles there by Gassemi. No card coming out there. After some of the other bookings, we've seen a little surprise by that. Marshall takes the free kick across the pitch off the head of Elias. And it's going to be out now for an altitude throw in. 
Halfway in the Caps half. Shavula over to take this one. Booth out to Shavula. Plays it up the line looking for a hail. Those two haven't connected as much as I'd hoped to see from them this afternoon. Certainly a dangerous pairing when they're fully connecting out there. Shavula now on the ball. Touch inside to Booth. The altitude captain plays it out to Marshall. George now. Dances inside. Tries to send the cross in the box. Gets blocked though by Demian. But Booth picks up the loose ball. Rude. Brooke flicks that one on and headed back by Clark Tozak into the welcoming arms of Cohen Park. The Altitude fans really getting behind their side now. Great atmosphere here at Kinsman Field as it always is for these match days. As I always say in these broadcasts, if you haven't had a chance to get out here to take in one of these games, you really should. It's absolutely fantastic. I know speaking to some of the Swan Guardians that were out last weekend for the TSS game, they really enjoyed the trip out here. Helped, of course, by a, a win for the, the men's side. But they just liked the atmosphere that was here, the beer garden, which they drank dry by all accounts. Sub coming up now for Altitude as Stasi Aheo making way here in the 75th minute. Caleb Valance coming on, another former Whitecap. Played the 2022 League One season with this Whitecap side. So he's going to know a lot of the guys on the pitch. Although there is just nine returnees for the Whitecaps from that squad from last season. Ball played in, looking for Valance, gets the head instead of Hildebrand, who just directs it into the arms of Park. Into the last 15 minutes now, the last quarter of an hour here in North Vancouver. Can either of these two sides find the winner? The Whitecaps looking to try and get three points to bolster their push for the postseason. How it should just looking to try and get their second home win of the season and spark a late revival like they did last year. Hennessy picks this one off, plays it forward, looking for Bathuta, but that's going to run through to Cohen Park. He was off his line quickly there to deal with that danger. Park now chips this one forward. Sorry, Ince now chips that one forward. As George sent crash into the deck and another card coming out here. Think that one going to Clark Tozik. Can Altitude conjure up anything special from this free kick? Rodriguez Agara and Brooks standing over it. Rodriguez now walking away. And it's going to be Eagle Brook that takes this one for Altitude. The goal scorer for the home side. That one comes in, takes a deflection of Gassemi and is collected by Park, but Gassemi feeling worse for wear for that. Just saw a little flash in the distance there that I wasn't sure if it was someone's camera taking a flash or if we have some lightning on the North Shore mountains here. So we'll keep an eye on that. It's the second one I've seen in the last few minutes, so I'm thinking it might be more the lightning side of things, but we'll... We'll see how that plays out. 
Let's hope it was just a camera flash. After the Whitecaps MLS match was disrupted. Oh, giveaway there into the path of Herbert who fires that one. Stopped by Park in the rebound. Bounces off first and out for a corner. Another corner here. Rodriguez sends a dangerous one in the box under the head of Canati. Right though, manages to get a touch on that. Herbert now, twisting, turning, dancing away, cuts that one back from the byline and first there to clear that danger, but it's just out for a throw in now for altitude. No one really seemingly in any rush to come over and take this though for the home side. And Shavula will now come over to take it. Shavula takes it and throw in. Whitecaps come away with it though, right. Plays it back to first who sends a long one forward for Hennessy. He's in a battle here with Shavula. Still Hennessy with the ball. Plays it inside. A little give and go there with Florent. Hennessy has it back in at the near post. And what a finish that is from Michael Hennessy from the tightest of tight angles in the 80th minute. And the Whitecaps from nowhere have a 2-1 lead here in North Vancouver. Great little give and go there between Florent and Hennessy. And Hennessy finishes with aplomb at the near post. Whitecaps lead this one 2 1, and they're going to make a double substitution here. Coming on for the Whitecaps, number 80, 77, Joven Mann. And number 94, Yayo Matumbo. Valence now in a battle with Felius. Felius comes away with it. Felius still has it. Plays it into the middle, looking for Wright. Wright does find it. Sends it into the back post. That was a dangerous one. Hennessy nearly getting onto that for what would have been his second hat trick of the year. Currently sitting on six goals. That hat-trick for Hennessy coming in the first match-up between these two teams. That's now five goals for Michael Hennessy against Altitude. Five of his six coming against the North Shore side. As Hennessy plays this out to Matumbo. This is going to be harsh on altitude if they can get themselves back into this. It's kind of been the story of the season. They've played really well. They just have not got the breaks. They've got just over seven minutes in stoppage time. 
to try and find this equaliser. They'd been pushing hard for the opener, the go-ahead goal themselves. Now they find themselves trailing 2-1. to one. Matumbo now for the Whitecaps. He's got room ahead of him to run. Hits the byline. Shavula being a nuisance there, but Matumbo still manages to get that one across goal. Carries it. I thought he'd carry behind, but it stayed in, and it's George now that sends this one up the wing to Brook. Hesitation there from George allows Wright to pick that. Wright flashes a shot. Got some power behind that, but just misses wide left in the end. Been a much better second half than it was the first. Feel there's still some more late drama in this as that ball played up for Valence to chase down. He's in a battle with, with Velios. The two Vs. Herbert wins it for altitude. Rodriguez now looking for someone to make a move. Forced to play it back though to Shavula. He tries to play that across to Marshall. But it's cut out well by right. Now it's a three on three break here. Ball played forward there. Looking to try and play in with Thuta. But the flag up for offside. And the Whitecaps not happy with that decision at all. Hard to tell from my angle back here. But. Did look a tight one. And the Whitecaps will build again now, out from the back. Lovely cross field ball there. Brought down well by Matumbo. And Hennessy brings that one down, but illegally with his hand. As that's cut out by Demian, who's powering forward here for the Whitecaps. A little tug on his back by George to break that up. Surprised he got away with that and the referee didn't call that for a foul. Joven Mann now. Brought down as he sent that one out and Marshall signalling to the bench that he seems to have pulled something and they're going to have to make another sub here. Matthew Marshall's been my player of the game for altitude. Fantastic shift at the back. Does seem to be favouring his Roy and has just gone down a little bit now. Galerm George seems to be the man that's going to be coming on for altitude here as players will take another opportunity to get a water break as we're in the 86th minute here in North Vancouver. Not much of this one left. Fourth official trying to hurry things up as everyone just trying to take in as much water as they can. It's going to be a free kick though to the Whitecaps, about 15 yards into the altitude half. Man standing over this one. As Marshall makes his way uh, round the back. It's about usually these stage of the games where we give our players of the game and for altitude for me it has been Matthew Marshall just going off there after 86 excellent minutes very solid at the back looked good going forward and broke up quite a few of the Whitecaps attacks Kanati with a long ball forward there looking for Hildebrandt Hildebrandt though with a little lunge there in Demian and it's going to be a free kick to the Whitecaps. For the Whitecaps, play of the game, hard to see past Michael Hennessy. It's two goals in the afternoon but it's also looked very lively since coming on at the half. 
as Guilherme George now does come on for altitude in the 88th minute. Whitecaps send that free kick deep into the box. Has a lot on that and it's just going to run out for an altitude goal kick here. We saw a stoppage time goal in the women's game. That one went the Whitecaps way. Can altitude reverse it this time around and get a dramatic late goal? They'd love to. They'll settle for one, I'm sure. a nice cross field ball there looking for Brook Brook still has it plays it into Rodriguez nice little step inside Rodriguez fires one off and a great effort there from David Rodriguez I thought Cohen Park had maybe got the slightest of touches on it but it is going to run out for a goal kick instead to the Whitecaps Park now sends that one forward into the altitude half. It's bouncing around in the middle of the park. Booth, though, comes away with it. Valance inside to Herbert. Nice little short interplay passes here, but it's broken up by the Whitecaps man. And now Hennessy has got a chance to power forward. Plays it out to Matumbo. He has got the pace, gets past Guilherme George. And Matumbo, a weak shot, though, in the end from the striker. Crossfield ball to Rafa George. Forced to play back to Shavula who's switched over now to that other side after that injury to Marshall. As Hildebrand judged to the foul there and getting into it a little bit with Brennan first. Seemed a little bit unnecessary there from the, the Caps player. It's Nick White that was getting into it with Hildebrand there. Apologies to first. I just saw him get quickly there as the captain to break things up. Messini though, just giving the pair of them a talking to. Part now, sends the free kick deep into the box, looking for right. Shavula though with a foot, sending it back up. Push in the back for Herbert there. Nothing given. This time they do get the free kick though for the tackle on Brook. A little bit of confusion on the altitude side there. Brooke had tried to play it off the Whitecaps player because he hadn't gone the 10 yards. Then it was just chipped forward. Kanati thought it was still a dead ball and caught it. And instead it's now given it away here for a free kick to the Caps. As we move into stoppage time. Haven't seen the board from the fourth official. As Wright sends that out to the far side to Demian. And that's going to run out altitude. Got a couple of minutes to try and salvage something now from this one. Ents, good kick up the field. Brook, just a slightly heavy touch there, but still kept alive here as Brook gets in, but can't keep that one in. It's going to run out now for a Whitecaps throw in just inside the altitude half. Mathuta battling it away in the corner flag. They'll be happy to keep it down there under the attention of Guilherme George. But it's Altitude that come away with it. Booth, a long one up the pitch there. White just leaves that to run out. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
as he gingerly works his way through the marsh that is at the sideline here in front of the commentary position. It really is a very soft surface out there. Valence now, forward to Brook. Rodriguez gets past his man. Rodriguez, a little give and go with Valence. Still Rodriguez hits the byline, sends a great cross into the box to Rafael George at the back post. It's blocked over by Demian. He clears it at the second attempt, only as far as Shavula though. Tries to play that out wide to George and Demian in again there to break that one up. Joe Demian has been very good since coming on in the second half for the Whitecaps at half time. Rodriguez battling away there with Bethuta. Out should win it back. Herbert goes down on the edge of the box trying to win a side a free kick from a great position. Referee not having any off it. Rodriguez up to Rafa George. He sends that into the second centre and it's just onto the head of Booth who can't direct it goalwards. Now he's going to get brought up the wing here by Yaya Matumbo. He's got Hildebrand closing him down. Matumbo tries to play in Hennessy but Guilherme George back well to deal with that. Now Kanati will bring it forward. Valence out to Shavula. Rafa George trying to play that in and that is going to be the last action of this one. It was heartbreak for the women in the first game with a stoppage time equaliser that conceded. It's more heartache late on for altitude in the men's game. Michael Hennessy with a great finish it has to be said though at the near post. He was the difference maker. He got the match winning goal in the 80th minute for the Whitecaps. They run out 2-1 winners here on the North Shore. A pair of goals for Michael Hennessy in the second half. First of those from the spot in the 52nd minute. Alishud went into the break with that one goal lead. A great goal by Eagle Brook from a free kick in the 42nd minute. It's going to finish here though with another loss for Altitude. 2-1 to the Whitecaps. They keep themselves in prime position for that fourth and final playoff spot in the men's division standings. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope you've enjoyed the afternoon here on the North Shore. Let's come do it again. There's one more home game left for Altitude. They're at home to the Highlanders on July 16th. Next weekend, Canada Day weekend, they travel to Langley for an away game on July 2nd against Unity. For the Whitecaps, they're back at it up at UBC on July 1st, an away game against Notsamot, and that could be a very crucial game in terms of playoff placing in the men's division. Also, a big one in the women's division as well. The battle for first place for that. So get out to that game if you can. Go and support some local soccer. I've been Michael McCall. Thank you for spending this stream with me. You can follow our stuff on AFTN.ca. Make sure you listen to the AFTN Soccer Show podcast as well. We have a lot of coverage of all levels of Canadian soccer and that. We'll be back soon. Until then, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Come on, Altitude. Let's finish the season in style. <laughs>